Hello everyone. Welcome to the booth of FungiPoint. My name is Jan Giele and I am the general manager of FungiPoint. I'd like to introduce myself first. Uh, although many of you might uh, know me or already meet me, I was born and raised in an agricultural background. I had a technical education on measuring and controlling techniques. Nowadays you would call that mechatronics. Um, after my education, I went to Fencom Climate Computers, where I was responsible for the development of various agricultural computer systems. And one of them was the mushroom computer, which was developed already about 40 years ago. Working at Fencom with the climate computers for mushroom growing, I did visit a lot of countries in the world where I helped people to start up mushroom farms and composting facilities. This made me very interested in the mushroom industry and I decided to do that full time. After my FENCOM period, I went to the Dutch Mushroom School, a well-known institute for training mushroom growers to learn to grow mushrooms. My job there was to help them to learn about climate control and how to use various makes of computer systems. Over the years, the Dutch Mushroom School changed into Seapoint and later on Seapoint became part of Delphi. At Delphi I became manager of Delphi Mushrooms. In this job I worked over the last couple of years and um, I did presentations on the uh, mushroom days in China before. Besides training and consultancy on climate issues. I also did uh, projects, various projects on development of energy saving climate controls. And the latest result was a digital growing assistant based on artificial intelligence. All in all, I have already about 40 years of experience, dedicated experience in climate control for mushroom growing. After retirement in uh, February this year, I decided to stay in the mushroom industry and like to use my expertise for the exotic mushrooms like wood fungi, especially the wood fungi mushrooms that are growing in the Asian market, specifically in China. On request of Mr. Liu of the CFNA in China, I visit various wood fungi mushroom farms and paid attention on the climate related issues on these farms. We visited smaller farms with low tech solutions and bigger farms with high tech solutions. Points of attention related to climate on the wood fungi farms were basically four various points. One of them was air distribution. There were a lot of complaints related to climate temperature differences inside the growing room. This leads to differences in growth and also differences in harvesting moment. Therefore, there is more attention needed for air distribution inside the wood fungi mushroom farms. A second point is air handling. Inside wood fungi farms, it's very common to use direct chillers that are located at the ceiling. These chillers throw out their cold air and that is responsible for differences in air distribution as well. So the combination of air distribution and air handling units for wood fungi is needing some improvement. Based on the experience of white button mushroom growing, there are various options available to realize such kind of improvements. The third point that can need some specific attention is climate control. On some farms, there were very basic climate controls, others were more sophisticated, but in common, there was not much data collected for learning afterwards how to optimize the growing results. To collect more data from the climate control, you can learn for the future how to optimize the growing results. With additional measurements on the most uh, recent climate controls, you have these kind of options for data collections. The final point of attention for wood fungi mushroom farms is energy need. Uh, wood fungi mushroom farms usually cool a lot and therefore need a lot of electricity. 
currently most cooling systems used in wood fungi farms are on-off cooling systems. By using more sophisticated cooling systems in combination with air handling units, you can reduce the energy need of the chillers. Based on these uh, visits to wood fungi farms in China and the climate issues that were on these farms, I did still think about the ideas and uh, how to improve the, and find solutions to optimize climate in wood fungi farms. Because of my retirement, I was looking for a new challenge. I was not ready to sit down at home, so I looked for a new challenge and to Together with these ideas for improvements on wood fungi climate, I decided to start my own company called FungiPoint. I discussed these ideas with my uh, network in China, with Mr. Liu as well, and uh, they were all very enthusiastic about this idea to focus on improvements for climate control on wood fungi farms. So we made the final decision to continue with preparations of Fungi Point, which is now nearly coming to an end, and our first results are already visible on the boot. Fungi Point will focus on the uh, wood fungi market in the wide range. So that means uh, the smaller farms that need only basic solutions, but also the large farms that need more complex solutions. At the moment, we are performing and preparing some tests on wood fungi farms for climate solutions related to air distribution and climate control. This did lead to a basic climate control and a more extended climate control for wood fungi. Also, we did work out some improvements on air distribution to get a more even climate inside the growing room, which is already being tested at this moment. Fungi Point is a new company and an independent company. Our head office is established in the Netherlands, but we also will have division in China. Fungi Point will work out climate solutions for new customers and for projects, and in this we will cooperate with uh, local companies or agents. So if you have any questions on climate for wood fungi farms, don't hesitate to contact us. You can contact us at the booth at the Chinese Mushroom Day in Xiamen. Fungi Point will help you to create a fungi future. Looks good. <laughs>